we'll play some audio from Jerome, who was playing weather analyst, road analyst down in Boston. Uh, why don't we play this quickly, all right? If we have a shortened version of, of Jerome McGinley, who's down in Boston, I have no idea how he ended up being interviewed by some news team down there. But uh, this is what went down over the weekend. Like the winter, but not necessarily. This might be a little too much. Visibility was poor on the highways as heavy snow came down for a few hours. <laughs> Getting around was a challenge, even for those who are used to this. Pretty tough. Uh, we're from Canada, so it's not too crazy. I mean, uh, we got some winter tires and uh, used to this growing <laughs> up, so um, it's not great. I'll tell you, you get some uh, some tough stretches, but if you don't go too fast, uh, uh, it's doable. All right, here he is, meteorologist, winter tire <laughs> guru, and our man on the scene down in Boston, Hockey Hall of Famer Jerome McGinley. How many people have been contacting you over the past 24 hours about that weather analysis down in Boston? <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I've had a few. Uh, I've been getting a good ribbon over the last uh, couple days, and uh uh, a lot of jokes at uh, at my expense uh, <laughs> uh, doing that there, but uh, yeah, it's been it, it is fun. It um, I didn't imagine it would do it, that. I'd hear from that many, you know, from people. I thought maybe you know this could be on the eleven o'clock news. They told me I thought ah, you know, maybe a uh, uh, a couple a couple old you know hockey Bruins fans in the thing might see it and you know think it's cool. But honestly, I was I was alone at this truck stop. Uh, I was taking my daughter to a, uh, it was a snowstorm. She had ice time. It was an hour away. And, and my, uh, my wife insisted that I still take her. I thought, Oh my God, it's like snowing out sideways. And she, she kind of was like, this isn't a big deal. What are we getting wimpy out here? So <laughs> I, I, I was the only one there. I went to this, tr I had to get gas. I stopped. There was nobody around. And I was like getting the snow off and putting my credit card in. And, and this lady came up uh, and asked, and I thought it'd be rude. I was the only one around. And, I didn't think of it, but I asked them after they said 11 o'clock news, and uh, I've been, yeah, people have been laughing and saying I did it kind of like a hockey interview, and I, I see I see where they're coming from now. Hey, right, hey, do you, in deep. Yeah, did, do you think yeah. that she <laughs> – is there any, like, any blowback? Do you believe that she knew, you know, who you were or anything, or did you, she thought you were like Joe Citizen just pumping gas and, and moving on? Oh, no, absolutely. She had no idea that say, I played hockey before or anything like that. No, it was like, literally, it was a, a pretty good snowstorm. Um, I, I downplayed a little bit. Uh, uh, and, you know, like, there was, like, so there was nobody out there. And, like, right, she just came up and we were, hey, do you want to do a, a you know, a, a take on the weather, what the roads are like out there? And I thought, ah, sure, you know, part of the community. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> so what was, she, the area what was she doing out there? Stuff. What, why would she go I, to where there's no one out there? That's like, what they do. They just for? go to they go to like locations like CP24 does it all the time. They just set up shop and they're like, what do you make of this nonsense? I guess. Oh, yeah. And I know noodles. I know you want to bring it up and I want to clarify. I took some heat I, like the kids, the kids, our kids, uh, our daughter, 16, Jade, and our, our two boys uh, are 14 and 12, Tej and Joe. And. Um, they were really enjoying it, like laughing at it on Twitter. And, and then uh, they got into the comments, you know, and I'm like, oh, God, don't read the comments. Please don't read the comments. So <laughs> they're sitting around. And I know you love it, Noodles. I know you already sent me a picture. Um, it was a bad angle on the top of my head. People are wondering what <laughs> I see that. And so we had to live through it at my expense at the table or this dinner table. And they were loving it. They're pulling up pictures of like a dolphin and then and, and like a, an alien at the top. And I even, my favorite was there was, uh, they were pulling up the debate on there of uh, if my head has changed. And I, I appreciate one fan was like, his head has never changed. And another guy's like, it has. Look, here's an old picture. It never used to look like this. And like, oh my god. So, you know, it was uh, it was fun, but uh, it's bad lighting, and I don't think my head has changed. But uh, that is not a. It was in a good angle for sure. Okay, I wasn't I'm, I'm gonna bring it up, that. Iggy. I swear I wasn't gonna bring it up. You brought it up. Our, our internal text. We don't take that public, but I'm. I will say this. I, I mean, because Struddy's a friend of the show, Struddy was not very kind on our internal text towards, you know, one of the angles of the way the camera was shot. I agree. 
Yeah, see, he definitely started started early. You texted me at like nine in the morning, and I was like, "What? Oh God, you already saw this?" <laughs> and and uh, oh yeah, I, I definitely uh, deserve it. And, and Strutty, I I understand where he's coming from because he usually takes abuse regularly. So um, on that text, so it, it was my yeah. turn, and and uh, he's been the brunt of it for a lot of them. So that's fair. That's true. Yeah, it's got to even out at some point. Uh, we're chatting with Jerome McGinley and. Obviously, we know we know Jerome because he's in the Hall of Fame and his hockey career. He's been on the show many times, but now people down in Boston watching whichever news channel that was uh, know him as a guy who's an expert of you know on the roads and, and driving through the snow. And I was thinking about it watching it because you mentioned off the top when he came on, like as a Canadian, um, it's bad down there, but it can't possibly be as bad as St. Albert, Alberta, and like the worst of it come winter time. You're not getting soft on us down there, are you, Jerome, or what? Well, I, I am. And like I say, it was, uh, it, I, I wasn't going to go to the, you know, I thought this is an hour driving in this nor'easter and all that. And my wife was like, like I say, she called me on it. She's like, come on, it's not that bad. You know, you get, get her up there. So I was out there and there were stretches. Like I was like, I mean, we're going like 40 miles per hour. And my daughter is like, come on, you know what I mean? But I'm getting older. <laughs> that's, that's the way it goes. <laughs> Safer. And I do want to say the one is that, I got out there. There was nobody around at this truck stop. Like I I wear my mask all the time. We wear our masks. It's, we definitely believe in that. And like, there was no, there was nobody around and I was in a hurry to get her there. And all of a sudden this lady showed up and I totally forgot about the mask and and asking in the camera and all that. So she was far away, but I, I, I should have had my mask on and, and, and a hat. (laughs) <laughs> I had all agree. Yes, the mask. Yes. <laughs> Iggy, I think I've asked you this before, but how did you pick Boston? You're from Western Canada. Like, if you're going to go bring your kids up, how come you didn't pick somewhere warm? I mean, that little town you're in or wherever you are in Boston area, it must have made quite an impression for you to move from out west and settle there. Yeah, that's a good question. A good question. Um, you know, it was it was really a, a kids a kids based decision. Um, at the end of, you know, we played Den- we played in Denver for three years uh, with the Avalanche, and it's a great place, a really nice place to live. Uh, but we moved our kids from Calgary to Boston for one year, and then three years in Denver. And um, you know, they all play competitive hockey. Our daughter and our two boys. I know a hockey a hockey parent hockey decision, um, and it was about. It was, we were going to, they play travel hockey out in Colorado. It was all travel hockey. So you have to fly about five trips a year, uh, at least during the regular season to go play places. And we just wouldn't see each other. We'd all be on the, uh, different weekends. We'd be going to and from the airports far. So we knew we had to move. We liked it. Um, so we, but we also knew we'd move the kids around a few times. So we asked them, uh, you know, pretty much where they would like to move. And their last place that they enjoyed was Boston the year before. So our three years before that. So, uh, we said, sure, why not, while they while they get older. And we always had plans of moving back west. Uh, but it was really, you know, the schools are good here. They like their old school. They moved back to that. They got on their old hockey teams. And um, they really enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, we're planning on moving back, um, you know, soon now. It's gone fast. We've been here. This is our fourth year. So uh, next year we're actually planning on uh, moving back out west and uh, looking forward to it. We've enjoyed it, like I say. But I know a crazy hockey pair, it's, it's kind of funny. It was mostly just kids with hockey and we can be at all this stuff and and the schools are good too with jerome again what's it like being a hockey dad where i'm sure the other parents are probably nervous around you but they want to pick your brain on how you feel about their kid and how they look out there i mean how do you how do you interact when you're in the rink um and everyone knows who you are and, and what you've done throughout your career what's that experience been like uh, it's not really, yeah, it's not really like, you know, um, Boston's a good hockey place and uh, uh, they're definitely into it. Lots of hockey rinks and uh, minor hockey and everything like that. But no, it's, uh, you go and you're just, it's just another parent and uh, for sure you talk hockey with people and I really enjoy talking hockey and, and the development of, of kids and, and uh, trying to help them. And uh, But no, I don't notice it like, and, and lots of people don't, it, it don't really uh let's be honest, care, I guess is the word, you know what I mean? As far as like used to play and stuff, it's, it's just, it's, uh, it's fun. There's a, mostly it's the Bruins though. They, they're a huge uh, Bruin. Uh, if you played for the Bruins and the kids, especially, they don't care. They know every Bruin and, and uh, seems like whoever played for them. And, and that's what the biggest thing is here. They love the, the Boston Bruins and, and talk about like, you know, 
2013 or, or whatever it was when, when I did play here. So that's cool. But, no, it's been fun. It's been a great experience. I've really enjoyed being around the rinks. And uh, um, the, it's, it it goes fast, though. The kids are already getting older, and there's not too many uh, more years getting to be a, a hockey parent.